Welcome back fellow believers and lovers of the Most High God. We are sons of God want to be because we are children of God who desire to grow up into full sonship so that the all of creation according to Romans 8 will be free from the slavery of corruption. They're groaning together and travailing in pain together even until now, awaiting for the revelation of the sons of God, the redemption of our bodies. We have a big responsibility to all our creation to grow in life. To build up the body of Christ, to prepare the bride, to consummate the new Jerusalem. What a thought. It's a great responsibility. It's the highest responsibility. But the Lord's burden is light and His yoke is easy. And we come to Him and we will find rest for our souls. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, so I'm taking this 90 days journey to lose 20 pounds to take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit. How do I do that? This is day 36. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the like button and leave a comment so you don't miss any of my videos. And feedback is the breakfast of champions. The Lord bless you out of Zion. So the first thing is the Daniel diet. What you put in is what will be most beneficial to you. The Daniel diet is revealed in the book of Daniel in the Bible, chapter 1. Daniel and his three companions. Did not eat the king's choice provision, but just ate nothing but whole food, plant-based diet, and water. Check it out. Five to six cups of water, one and a half hours of exercise. Depending on who you are, you may say, how, how come that long? Or some may say, how to come that short? Because that's the research. One and a half hours is the best amount of time to exercise. That's the research. What research? Well, based upon two books by Dr. Michael Greger, How Not to Die and How Not to Diet. Whole food, plant-based diet, five to six cups of water, one and a half hours of exercise, six to nine hours of sleep, Intermittent fasting. Those are all documented in those two books. How Not to Die and How Not to Diet. It's in my description. You could click onto it. And it'll get you right to Amazon at the lowest price. I get a few percentage point because it's a affiliate link, but no additional cost to you. It's a win-win situation. Win-win. I need a little bit of income to keep my videos going. It's expensive to put videos together. It takes time and money. Got different products. You gotta have the internet increased. And you have to sacrifice time. All right, so based upon those two books, I have this game plan to take care of the Temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, as far as the one and a half hours of exercise, Dr. Michael Greger does not spell things out, just say the length of time. So it could be any kind of motion, movement, any kind of exercise that lasts one and a half hours. I choose to run around the Great Mall three times in the morning here in Milpitas, California, and three times at night. Comes to a total of 4.8 miles a day. Very low impact, slow, steady state. 
why so slow why so low impact so I could do it for the rest of my life I learned one thing if you cannot do something the rest of your life it will not work it's not like You have a choice about it. It will not work. Otherwise you bounce back and you get fatter than before. I'm not fat shaming anyone. That's a fact of life. You gotta do something, you gotta do it for the rest of your life. Then you will have great success. Great success. To balance things off so I don't lose the fast twitch muscles, I also, in addition to 4.8 miles of slow, steady state, I also do one to two sessions of high intensity interval training. Here's the bark coming through. Oh, that's the light rail, light rail, but the bark is also start coming on time now the only thing is that it's a little noisy but the property value will go up here in Milpitas in this part near the Great Mall because Bart is here it was a five years wait but it's here So high intensity interval training, that's five to 10 minutes only because it's high intensity. And then it, also I do four to five, three to four times of weight training because as uh, we are losing weight, there's a tendency to lose muscle too. So doing weight training will minimize muscle loss. Start light weights and build up from there. I tend to do more lighter type of weights, but try to do the good form, the best form. It's more effective and safe, safer. Get chance, less chance of getting injured. I alternate also using bands. Bands seems like less stress on the joints. At day 30, I also started incorporating yoga, 10 to 20 minutes, because the body was a little stiff, even though I was doing isolated stretching exercise for the legs and shoulders and chest. Still not the same as whole body stretching. When you do yoga, you stretch your whole body. It's like everything is, the whole body is in, involved. That's the power of yoga. Never underestimate yoga. It's been uh, practiced for over 5,000 years. Over 5,000 years. And right now, today, many businessmen and executives are into yoga. That's it, that's my exercise program. Slow cardio, 4.8 miles. High intensity interval training once or twice a week, five to 10 minutes. Weight training three or four times a week, probably around 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Yoga, 10 to 20 minutes, three or four times a week. That's it. It all average out to be about one and a half hours a day. What do you get in exchange? You will sleep less. You will find out you need to sleep less. I was uh, sleeping at 10 hours a day before, including naps. I'm not proud of it, but that was the state of being. That's where I was for a few years, the last few years. 
last five or six years, seven years. I just started 35 days ago, 36 days ago. Day, 30, day 36. I start sleeping only about seven hours instead of 10 hours. So I save myself three hours when my body is oxygenated and I have a mission with a goal, with a mindset, eating healthily, drinking. So my body is hydrated, intermittent fasting. I find I got sleep three hours less. So even though I'm putting out one and a half hours, three minus one and a half, I'm still one and a half hours ahead. I saved myself at least one and a half hours. It's a discovery. All right, now mindset. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment so you don't miss any of my videos. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. Mindset. I have also rely on two other books. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Dr. Stephen Covey. It's a bestseller. And The Compound Effect by Daryl Hardy, another national bestseller. Out of those two books can be summarized in the following way. Begin with the end in mind. Have a vision of your life, what you want to be remembered. Have a mission statement, how you want to contribute to society. Finally, break your mission into three types of goals, short-term, intermediate, and long-term goals. Publish your goals so you're held accountable, you stay motivated, document everything. Track your progress so you know how you're doing, whether you're reaching your goal or not. Monitor and adjust so that you can arrive at your goal and your destination. And above all, have a revelation and a realization that what you do on a daily basis, if practiced over time, you will get a compound effect. In application to my 90 days journey, I will lose 20 pounds in 90 days. By July 20, 2020 or earlier, I will weigh 168.6 pounds. I published to the whole world through YouTube documentary of my 90 days journey. I'm being held accountable and I'm motivated. I track my progress in the morning and at night with the Tanita body fat scale. It's all in my descriptions. I monitor and adjust. And I have a revelation and a realization that what I do on a daily basis just follow the game plan. Follow the game plan. I will get a compound effect. 168.6 pounds by July 20 or earlier. That's my game plan, fellow believers and lovers of the Most High God. What do I do while I'm going through this journey? I enjoy the Lord. We love the church life. Eating, drinking, breathing Jesus. We love the church life. Feasting from such a rich store. Some these days would tell us that Jesus is not our food. That we only need to think about him and to do good. Let me tell you that this is not that way. Jesus is our food, our drink, and our breath. We love the church life. 
We love the church life, eating, drinking, breathing Jesus. We love the church life, feasting from such a store. All right, fellow believers, the Lord bless you out of Zion. Don't forget to smash the subscribe, the like, and leave a comment. And the Lord bless you out of Zion. Let's get raptured together by being thin and above all by enjoying the Lord, filled with the Spirit, being the prudent and wise virgins and the faithful slaves, servants of the Lord, investing in our talent. And the Lord will say, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. You were faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Amen. We'll see you in a bit.